Virtual reality promising to be a game changer for sports fans, both at live events and in your living room. I'm never leaving home ever. And this month's big idea, <laughs> Matt King shows us how with an assist from a Rangers legend. It feels like you're going to get hit. It's, it's, it's so real. Adam Graves played 16 years in the NHL, made one All-Star team, won two Stanley Cups, tallied 616 points, and saw the Rangers retire his number. But he never stood between the pipes with no defenseman in front of him and tried to stop a professional slap shot. You're sitting out there like you're Henrik, and the puck's coming at you. The Rangers allowed Graves this opportunity 13 years after his retirement through a virtual reality headset running a customized hockey simulator for which actual Rangers launched actual shots at a net on the ice at Madison Square Garden. It makes you think, uh, how could you uh, apply this to some sort of uh, developmental tool uh, to, to really enhance people's awareness on the ice? While Graves and many others in the realm of professional sports envision this technology coaching athletes, young and old, amateur and professional, Professional, those who design these systems see the more revolutionary sports application of VR improving the fans' experience. You and I could have a side conversation where we look between us and in miniature there are the players going through that play again. We could pull that back and say, what about that? That will be normal. NYU professor of computer science Ken Perlin's PhD students built a program in which two individuals with smartphones strapped over their eyes see themselves as cartoon figures in a cartoon environment, while a third individual wearing a VR headset in a different room sees those two cartoon people in miniature moving about on a table in front of him. Apply a more advanced version of that program to a professional sports game and a couple of guys in the nosebleeds. It's usually a little more rowdy. Yeah. Can watch and pause and slow down replays and live game action from any perspective they choose. Like, let me see the trajectory of that. Was that in bounds? Was that out of bounds? And that could be this physical object, because it's being tracked, could be part of a larger conversation that everybody has talking to each other and using the simulation. The gyros and accelerometers, graphics hardware, high resolution screens and wireless communication crammed into our smartphones arm us with much of the hardware we need to watch a game in this way right now. But in the next six years, it's a pair of sunglasses, which I think could reasonably happen in that time frame. And in 25 years, a pair of contacts installed at birth. At that point, little children sooner or later learning to walk will have the power up of being able to say, oh, third person point of view of me learning to walk. Children will be able to do things we'll never be able to do. Virtual reality could standardize the viewing experience from every seat in the building. But if everyone's immersed in the image on their headsets, VR could also take something away from that experience of seeing a game in person. Andy Chavez make the catch against the wall. Where were you for that? I was in the upper deck of Shea Stadium. The communal experience of attending a live sporting event relies as much on the actual gameplay as your seat. Nosebleeds, top row. Those in your section. That's where all the good fans hang out. The weather, the sounds, the smells, the price of a beer. And all of our own particular customized favorite data overlay to make our predictions, analyze, have our conversations with each other while it's happening. Ken argues virtual reality can unlock new ways for large groups of people to experience events together in person. We don't like to just call this virtual reality because eventually it's just going to be reality. In Midtown, I'm Matt King, Fox 5 News. Why ever leave the house? I right? know, I know. It's going to be harder and harder to rationalize. And you can see Adam Graves do the virtual reality simulation in its entirety. That's on our Facebook page. Okay.